How's it going? Ryan here. Today, I'm going to go over the one trade that I took on SPY. Ended up being a little under 50% return uh, in just a matter of minutes. We'll talk about how I found that trade, uh, what I was looking for, and why I entered and exited it. Uh, but before we get to that, we're on the daily time frame here. A few levels that we have. I'll actually back it up to the weekly time frame. We have this long term trend line for support uh, coming off the weekly. We also have this uh, resistance coming down here as well from the weekly, as well as this level at 432.5. Uh, and just an area that we found resistance once we're below it, support once we're above it. It was also this swing low here. Uh, after we made that most recent high, we came and set a bottom at that level. Um, and it was also pretty much right at the top of last week's candle as well. So just a relevant level off a, a higher time frame there. Zoom in a bit, we have this gap down um, from pretty much 438.5 to 435 or 436-ish. So we have both of those levels marked, the top of the gap and the bottom of the gap, just to know uh, if we do have a bounce from here, uh, this gap may get filled. So levels that we're looking at there. This is that weekly one we were mentioning. Um, we also have this uh, 430, nice whole number, support, resistance past couple of days. We have another level, uh, 432, which we'll look at, as well as this 425, the bottom of a few candles in here, uh, also lining up over there. We'll look at a four hour chart. So just diving down the time frames here. So we had this 430, this level here, a uh, nice whole number as well. We also had the low of yesterday. So we had been down trending. We bounced off that long term support. We made a higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. So we've been trending up. So I marked this most recent swing low here, right at 426. Uh, and then we have that 425, as you can see. Um, pretty much an inverse head and shoulders here. So this shoulder here, this head, this shoulder, so that 425 key level right at the that, uh, top of that shoulder line. Um, we have kind of the neckline around 428 or so. Um, not marked, but is a, has been a pretty important level, as you can see. But the reason why I took the trade that I did, and the main thing that we'll be focusing at, is this right here. Oh, if I can zoom in. All right, perhaps not. Is this rising channel that we've been in the past three days. So we have our support to the bottom, our resistance to the top. <clears throat> And we had broken out of that rising channel in the pre-market. Going into the trade today, going into the five minute here, what I was looking for is this retest of that trend line that we'd broken and then continuation downwards. And as you can see, we did not to the T, uh, but we did get some retests in that area before selling off. Um, the reason that I felt comfortable taking the trade that I did, and I'll talk about that right now. I didn't mean to zoom in like that. Um, I took puts on this candle here as we broke through this uh, trend line. Reason being, in the pre-market, we also had um, this little zone of consolidation in here. Uh, so we pushed up, tested this area that we had broken out of. We also had tested this trend line. We we're seeing some volume kick up. Um, we had this hammer candle here, but it was on the lowest volume that we saw uh, that morning. Once we started to break through here with some momentum, I took puts. My entry was um, I wanted to see a rejection off that trend line. I wanted to see it come up, retest and reject. So once we started to get that, that's when I got in. My exit was the low of the day. Um, as you can see in the morning, we kind of had this uh, this little downtrend that we broke out of, retested in the morning before rallying up. We had bounced from this area before, so my plan was to take profits once we hit the day low. Um, worked out pretty well. I did have this 426 level marked, uh, but I knew that we had bounced pretty heavily from this area 
right just a few minutes ago so as we came down we hit that 426.25 ish area that's when i got out uh just happened to be pretty much right near the low of that candle I maybe left like 10 cents on the on the trade but overall pretty nice like i said uh same day expirations i was trading 426 puts uh, so i took it up here when we were above 427 so two strikes out of the money we came down <clears throat> netted almost a 50 percent return on that is in the high 40s um from there you can see kind of how we played out uh we come up and we rejected off this trend line a couple of times finding support that 426 and that uh, pre-market low area right in there rallied up again test that 428.5 ish area uh, before selling off kind of moving level to level here ultimately ended the day green um, so close the day at a higher price than we opened if we look at the daily time frame again um, we made a higher low so we came down we bounced off this long-term trend we set a high we set a higher low so far so we'll see if this bounce continues if we start making our way up we do have that gap to fill that could be something to watch in the future um, but I do want to show one last thing um, and that is that when I was trading I had the five minute open for my entry uh, but I was also watching this hourly chart since this trend this channel was drawn on a four hour and then kind of refined as I, I went down in the time frames. With it being a higher frame, like higher time frame trend, I was really watching the hourly chart as well when I was in the trade. And just watching the hourly chart fail to break and maintain above that trend that we'd broken out of made me pretty confident that we were gonna come down there. Um, so just a couple couple confirmations on different time frames using higher time frame levels and trends to make decisions um, last week i was pretty dialed in on a two minute chart just scalping and, and not really paying attention to the big picture so theme of this week is to back that thing on up pay attention to the big picture watch what's happening on a larger time frame allow that to dictate my entries on a smaller time frame um, and really just try to refine my, my trading. So I'm not taking little meaningful, meaningless uh, trades, but really things that will move the market. So that's the approach I'm coming with, uh, trying to get out of that weird mindset that I was in last week that really caused me to, to take a few uh, bigger losses than I'd like to. So avoiding that, we're starting the Monday out strong, or starting the week out strong with a good Monday, rather. Uh, only one trade on the day, but sometimes that's all you need. Um, if you watch this far, I do appreciate you. Thank you for paying attention. Uh, I do trade live every Monday through Friday, so if you want to stop by and say what's up. We also have a free Discord. That link will be in the channel to join the Discord. It's just a small community of traders, people trying to get better. We have a variety of experiences, a variety of skill sets. People, Some people trade fibs, you know, some people trade supply and demand. It's, it's a a cool little group. Uh, we support each other and help each other learn, share ideas, uh, get together before the market or in the evenings and look at charts. Uh, so if that's something that you think you'd like to be a part of, feel free to join that. Say what's up. That's all I got for you. I hope you have a great day. Peace.